opens you up, right? Okay, so uh, this is the this is a bo uh, ship in um, that's docked behind Knob Hill Foods. I don't know the story about this ship, but it's beautiful and it adds so much to the Alameda scenery. I can tell you the story. You can tell me the story. So to it is ahead. a brigantine that was built in the 1980s in Poland, and it did its thing around the world, and it finished its life in Richmond, California, and it they did not pay their dock fees, so they got ushered off the dock in Richmond, and the guy who is the the dock master at that dock is such a softy. He says, oh, sure, you can put it here. And it's so picturesque that it, it's a real, you know, people come to see it, and it's wonderful, but I do not believe that they are paying dock fees here either. <laughs> I guess they should be paid the fees for adding so much to the... Perhaps. To the, to yeah, the maybe they yes, could, sure is, yeah. to send some photographs. Huh? They could pay their dollars. Yes, piece. yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, Marat, can take, you see? They take down the obscene signs in the window every time somebody pays them to photograph no, it. Yeah, you're, uh, you're obscene. <laughs> No, no, well, I'm, I'm such a... I'm You're so such a strict girl. Girl. I'm, I'm sorry. That, that's okay. So, uh, oh, so starting with the sketch with a pencil, again, optional, you can use a pastel if you don't want to use a pencil. So, I'm getting these two masks which are at an angle, wow. almost parallel. There's a nice angle going on there. I do want the reflection in the water, so. Is that what the blue is on the side of the boat? Is the water reflection? Well, the, the, the ship is blue. Okay. And uh, there's a lot of blue in this painting. That is absolutely right. It's got a lot of blue. So getting the angle and the lines right is That's important. Right. And then we have this walkway on. And then Nancy's dragon boat. Thank you. Is that a dragon boat? Yeah. And then there's this white. I don't know how many of these white. What do you call them? The poles? They're just light, they're just light posts. They've got the um, posts solar, for tying the solar lights. Yeah. Around. And then uh, it's not very clear what all is up here, but I know that I see the windows. There are some three windows which could add to. Yeah, I think that's part of the, the ship and then there is some kind of a structure here in the front mm -hmm. and there are a million, almost a million lines between, that are coming down from the post. So not all of those are important but just a general shape is important I feel and then, then the, obviously the the reflection adds so much. So getting the line straight again, that's important here. Okay, that's it. That's really it. Yeah, so what about the other white thing, the other dock down there? Or is that up there? I'm confused. Well, here, the, the, that's the other end, other side of the estuary. Yeah. So there are some buildings here. Townhouse. Oh, there, there, there I see. There is, oh, okay, now I see it. Okay. There's that's park bridge see. here. Yeah. I don't know how much I can get yes, it. Yes, okay, I see it now. Yeah. Demonstration, but we'll see if we can. Yeah. These lines. Okay, so that's not really very important. Um, okay, so let's start with the fun underpainting. Let's see. I don't want to warm this up because this is a afternoon scene. Some magenta for the water. Okay. 
that's I think that's good. I don't want to make it too complicated because it's kind of a simple painting. Simple as in just two or what two or three big shapes are going on here. to be a little messy and abstract initially a little wild colorful because the more colorful you have at this point the better it is for the finished painting because then it's going to add a nice texture and it's going to be full of color we're definitely going to punch up the color more than what we see in the photograph because photograph really doesn't do a whole lot of justice to the real scene and I've taken some pictures of this ship from the, the bridge, High Street Bridge, I think it's called. That's the Fruit Vale is the one that's closest. <coughs> Fruit Actually, Vail. the one, the one to go, the one you to, you would take to go to Home Depot. I went there. That's the Fruit Oh, that's the one, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And from across the way. Is where you took the picture. He was all, the she bridge. took the picture yeah. right was, from Knob Hill. Right? I was yeah. from the, 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 from the shop. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Shop. Yeah. So I need some yellow. I want to punch up. I want to sh show light. I want to show light. And the best way to show light is by putting some yellows. Because yellows, yellow constitutes warmth. And blue is the cool part of the painting. So I want to get some yellow in. Maybe I will tone it, tone it down a little bit later. But I will start with a nice, nice yellow that shows the light that is being that the sun is sun. I think it's probably where would the sun be right now? This is probably early morning, right? This was about it's 9 o'clock in the morning. I think it's, oh, 9 o'clock. Okay, mm -hmm. so the sun is still on the right side, maybe somewhere high up. Mm -hmm. Okay, so starting with the yellow because I want to show the light. And then I could... Cool it just a little bit with a little white. And then we'll come down with some blue because the blue the blue is gonna make the sky look real because This was a little too dark, so I tried to kind of warm it a little bit. That's white you just put on the bottom? Yeah, I did put some white. Mm -hmm. And then we have some dark. But the water will always be a little darker than the sky. Why? It's always because the light is coming, the source of light is the sky. Yeah. That's where the reflected light is coming. Even the sun is on this side, but the sky is almost acting like a light, a big light. So we want to paint water cooler than mm -hmm. the sky. So that's what's going to get it. It's going to be more realistic. I think that the blue of the ship is a little darker. And I'm painting with the side of the pastel, and that's what gives it the interesting um, painterly look. So you don't want to draw it, and this is this is what is very pleasing to the eye, which is imperfect, but it is pleasing because you have 
color from the underpainting showing through. So don't be afraid to let it be imperfect. some of these structures that are white or light yellow if I can get the right color going again just a suggestion of the structure not actually drawing like a like an illustrator but just a suggestion of what's happening Did not paint the, the water on the other side. Okay. So you want it to be painterly, so not worrying too much about. straight which is which is a nice thing we got some light hitting the side of the ship on this side a little bit here as well okay so I like how the yellow is showing through because that is so the 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 darker areas would look a little lighter in the water and the and the lighter areas will look a little darker in the water. Did I say it right? Lighter will look darker in the water, darker will look lighter in the water. So this mast would be, I would go a little yellow. Value wise it looks a little darker. I don't like that. bright bright day so the darks are not it's not as much dark area on the mast okay. Now you gotta look at look at the picture, squint your eyes and see where can I get some darks and squint your eyes. Respond to the painting itself, not the pictures, because you would get caught up in what's happening in the picture. There's a lot of detail. The as as things recede in the background. If you want to create an illusion of space, you want to make them lighter and bluer, which is what I'm trying to do here. Bluer, bluer. And what does that accomplish again? It creates a sense of space. So mm -hmm. something that's closer to you would be much Dark. darker or brighter. Mm -hmm. But as you go further back, mm -hmm. the hills look yeah. blue, right? Similarly, the buildings in on the other side of the estuary won't look as as white because they are so far away. So very abstractly approaching. It's right beside your your phone, right there. It's right beside oh, your I picture. See. Thank yeah. you. Thank you very much. Trying to be perfect, right? Because it's a quick demonstration. Okay. 
using the pastel sideways to create the illusion of water. in the background I'm gonna break the color a little bit I don't wanna paint it too solid okay then there is stuff that's unclear what's happening here so you want it's okay to have that messy thing going on which is not this gives an illusion of things but not exactly tells you what it is. So I think the nose has got some dark area. Reflection of the point of the ship. That's what I wanted to see how you did. Well, the that. point of the ship is kind of here. Yeah. It doesn't go all the way down. Yeah. Just the angle of the the sun is such that it doesn't go all the okay. way. Okay. Yeah. It's not showing the. The full thing there. It's not showing the full thing. So I think we would need to work on it a little bit. So here I am trying to use a little foam to. So broken color, you gotta to work with broken color, don't wanna do it. So I'm using the finger either sideways or vertical while working on the water. Sideways or vertical. I see this nice area where there's some yellow orange lines you know this post looks a little orangey maybe yellow orange if not completely orange
Why did you do a vertical picture instead of a horizontal one? And why did you two turn the paper? Because I, I wanted to have the, um, I wanted to paint the reflection. Yeah. And I think a vertical would give me the space to do oh, okay. the sky and the reflection uh -huh. of the mass. Well, you could totally have done a, a horizontal right. right here. But you would lose either the water in front of the dock or you'd have to lose part of the mass. Yeah, I think you will have to decide. Either you would paint everything very small to accommodate the reflection and yeah. the mass, or you would have to make the reflection much shorter, or the sky much shorter, whichever one. So so standing back a little bit, see how I feel about it. I, I, like I love that orange in there in the middle. Mm -hmm. I think that definitely does something with that. Which one? Mm -hmm. yeah, orange, right. the horizontal yeah. line. Yeah. Of the, the dock, the, the dock that you made in forge there. I like the colors there. And then we have some. Maybe we do uh, take a take a pencil and do the lines from the mast. Even a regular pencil would work. So you have not to be perfect, but trying to be as. can tell that the mast, sorry, the pole has a shadow which is this way. That tells you where the sun is. Sun is right here mm -hmm. on the right side of the painting. What color is that that you're using? That's the dark purple. Okay, dark purple. Mm -hmm. And then you can And you're thinking about the balancing of color. You know, putting different colors and balancing it all out. Yeah. And because I see the yellow in the bottom. Yeah. Now, why did you not put some orange on the top? Because it would, um, because it needs to be lighter? I, it needs to be warmer. Warmer, okay. So more yellow in there. Yeah. And red is the balancer. So you have yellow, the warm. Blue is the cool. Yeah. Red is modifier. So if you add red to the yellow, it cools the yellow. Yeah. If you add red to the blue, it warms up the blue. Yeah. yeah. And big, so purple is warmer than blue. Right. Orange is cooler than yellow. Right. Okay. And Thank green you. is. And green. Well, green is really warmer than purple. Yes. So basically, yeah. the sky at the top is blue starts getting green here and becomes yellow right. mm -hmm. because it's warmer. I need to do a better job at blending the 
the back the sky a little bit and kind of toning down the finding the a little lighter value of yellow but otherwise I feel good about where we are so Of new pastel. Where I mean, did this you is, get those? This Ooh. on Amazon, oh. and they, these are great. I mean, these are a little, little um, harder than the regular ones we use. They are not very soft, but they got beautiful. So, how did you order them today and get them today? Not today. I didn't order. Well. Today's Black Friday, right? Today is, but well. You I, did an early Black Friday. Well, I did earlier. <laughs> I would say Black Friday because they gave me a ten dollar discount <laughs> on top of <laughs> what I was already paying. So I. What is, the, would, what is that brand? It's called New Pastel. New Pastel. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's nice. What you're doing to it. Mm-hmm. Well, it just made it more livened up there. So I guess we're giving more importance to what's happening in the water here. And the yellow is warming up. Uh -huh. The I guess white is not the best color. At least for this scene. Yeah. So I have the yellow, but it's a lighter yellow. Uh -huh. so the white white in it. I think it's a little better than the one we was we were using earlier. A little long stick, so I have to break them a little bit. You break them up because they're easier to hold. Yeah, if it's too long, I won't get a uh, okay. even mark. It will mm -hmm. kind of touch only the, at the ends, uh -huh. and that will create a good even mark. I think now. Maybe the water that side is a little lighter because it's further to the back than the water on this side. That's how I'm approaching the choice of color. Okay, so I will go back a little bit and see how I feel. And now I think now it's coming together. Yes, yeah, it's not that. done. Yeah. But I think it's coming together in the way, I think the reflections have a much nicer quality to them. And I think this yellow kind of made a difference. I thought too, I really like that, the way you did what you just did with it. Yeah, it did. Even the dragon boat would benefit by. So it didn't really match exact color, but we were thinking about distance and how we can right. I think So back, 
Okay, I think I like it where it is right now. I would say in terms of completion, this is about 70%, maybe 75 or even I would stretch and say maybe it is maybe 80 if I want to have a very rough look. But it has got the quality that I... What else will you work on here? Yeah, I think I want to... I think I want to sit down a little bit and look at all the small things that are here. I would kind of blow them up a little uh -huh. bit. Maybe add, maybe add the orange, I don't know, light. What do you call this? Life preserver. Life jacket. I think it's... What do you call it? The round life preserver. The life preserver, life okay, yeah. So yeah. stuff like that, a little bit that gives that yeah. quality that it is really a ship. But that's minor work, I would say. I think yeah. what you've captured nicely is it's not a shiny new ship. It's a kind of a rusty, dented weathered ship and I I feel like you captured that. Yeah. And I get it. So you want to use it, use the pastel. You want to tap it. And I think I like the light that is reflecting off of this. The dock. Mm -hmm. I think that looks very nice. It's... And I'm not trying to draw a solid walkway. Would you call it a dock? Is that no, a dock? dock. Yes. I didn't, I'm not trying to draw solid, same colored dock because that will just kill it. Same thing. If I use a solid blue here, it's it's over. I think we want to have broken color. Mm -hmm. and kind of show in fact well, so it's all the same your eye would get stuck there huh your eye would get stuck there if it was right if it was more defined right mm -hmm. yes that's right so in fact i kind of added a little orange here because the orange is gonna reflect off of here like, and hit the board like so you want to kind of add a little bit so that that's where i would like to sit down and say okay what else can i do that will make it more fun now the dragon board could use a kind of a you know more defined bottom so i think i will stop here because you guys need to paint too. And but I feel good about this at the moment. It's, it seems like it's got a lot going on than I thought initially. But it it is it's got the my eye is landing here. Mm -hmm. And that's good. I think mm -hmm. that is where mm -hmm. I maybe the lines need to be a little more pronounced here. And that will also give That kind of will mm -hmm. also create the look, but it's very close to being finished. Mm -hmm. But again, sky blue here because it's cooler becomes green, becomes yellow as it comes down. I could improve the gradation of it by blending well. The water at the back is lighter than the water in the front. Water in general is darker than the sky. Mm -hmm. So those are some of the things. Then the reflections are darker than they appear here in the real object. So when darker in that is so the white is more yellower here, hmm. right? Then the and the in and the boat, the darker one looks a little lighter in the water. So that's some of the thinking I did. If there is any logical thinking to what I did, that is the part where you would kind of because that, these are the things that will make it look more real. Again, broken color, very important. Not, don't try to be, you know, don't to draw a line. Use the side. 
so we can make it appears more real yeah